Hey guys, it's Anna from Anna's Cheeky Faces and today I'm going to show you how to do a scary clown um, Pennywise inspired face paint. Um, it's a very popular around Halloween time and it's especially loved by small boys but uh, it would also look great on an adult. So I'm going to use a um, white, black and red face paint. I'm also going to use a black eyeshadow and I'm going to use a stencil that looks kind of like cracks, cracked skin, cracked surface thing. Uh, if you don't have one, you can either skip this step or you can just draw uh, small zigzaggy lines that will look like cracks. Uh, I'm going to use a kabuki brush for applying my uh, base color. You can also use a sponge, I prefer kabuki brush. Um, I'm also going to use a, a makeup brush for applying eyeshadow and just a small uh, brush, small round brush for using with your face paint. Uh, we are going to do two stages of this makeup. One is a little easier and then the extra part is a little more advanced. So for the second part, you're also going to use some yellow and uh, some green face paint. I've already applied a white base to my face. Uh, I've used a kabuki brush and a white face paint and just a circular motion like this all around my face. So the next step will be loading your makeup brush with some black eyeshadow and we're going to apply that on the eyelid. Kind of in a bit of an angle to make it look more angry. And I'm going to pull a little bit of this color down under the eye. And I'm going to pull a little line up. Okay. Right, so I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Okay, now I'm going to switch to a bit of a smaller brush and I'm going to create two lines, also the eyeshadow, two lines going down from my nose, very gently. Okay, and also like a half circle on my chin. Okay, I'm going to take my other um, more fluffy brush and just blend it. So it's not that much of a sharp line. And now I'm going to use the same brush and the same eyeshadow and I'm going to use my stencil. If you don't have a stencil, you can either draw uh, some very thin and zigzag lines, kind of like uh, veins or something, or you can just skip the step altogether. The character in a movie, the Pennywise character in the movie has this kind of very uneven texture on the skin, especially on the forehead, so that's what I'm trying to create. Now we're going to take a, a face paint brush, just a, any sort of painting brush, nice round small brush if you have, and load it with some red face paint. And I'm going to create a red lip. And now I'm going to create the lines going uh, from the eye, connecting to the lip. It's like a kind of an S-shaped line.
okay and this line goes also, also go upwards so from about your brow up And the same thing on the other side. Right, so uh, I'm also going to apply some of this red on my on the tip of my nose. And I'm just going to press my brush down and pull it up, like so. Press and pull up. Pull, pull, pull. Because I want to create this kind of uneven edge. Okay. Okay, I'm going back to my eyeshadow now because I'm going to apply just a little bit in the in the center of my lips. You can skip this step, it's not necessary. Especially if you're doing it on the child, it'll be smiled in two minutes anyway. <laughs> And we're going to do some of this uh, eyeshadow as well on the bottom of the nose, just a little bit on the bottom, make sure you can see the red. Okay, and the last thing will be switching to your uh, black face paint and a face painting brush. I'm using a small thin brush and I'm going to create some, some uh, wrinkles. I'm using just the tip of my brush, try doing it very lightly and we'll do some wrinkles under the eye as well. Outline the top of the eyelid. And pull this little line out as well. And from this line, we're going to create eyebrow, okay? So just starting thick and finishing thick, thin. Like so. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Okay, so uh, that's your first finished look. Um, I've also added some wrinkles on my forehead. Uh, I've used the, the smallest brush that I have and some black face paint. And uh, if you want to take this look to a next level, uh, you can uh, draw eyes on top of your eyelids if you're feeling brave enough. It looks really creepy and children love it. Uh, it's a little tricky to do it on yourself, but it's a lot easier to do it on somebody else. Just make sure they keep their eyes closed long enough for everything to dry before they open their eyes. And what I did, I just painted a yellow circle on my eyelid and then smaller green circle for the iris and a black dot for the pupil. Two white highlights and that's it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks for watching. Happy Halloween!